Hello, and thank you for joining us. My name is Brianna Bell, and I am a member of the Advantage Marketing Team. We are pleased to welcome you to the latest webinar from Advantage Technologies, New Write Facts Features and Techniques to Protect PHI. Jeff Kunzler, our Vice President of Technical Services, is going to walk you through essential tips that will help your organization maintain the highest level of privacy and document security, supporting your HIPAA compliance efforts. Jeff has over 20 years experience working with WriteFacts, and many of you have worked with Jeff on projects in the past. With that, I'll turn the webinar over to Jeff. Thank you, Brianna. To begin, I'd like to talk a little bit about Advantage Technologies. So Advantage is a leading provider and integrator of WriteFacts, CloudFacts, and document delivery solutions for over 20 years. We are number one in WriteFacts sales and support in North America, and in 2017, OpenTex voted us the top three value-added resellers. We have a North American-based support desk with an experienced staff of certified engineers, and our global customer base includes Fortune 100 companies, major hospitals, and government agencies. We're an open text partner support, partner reseller, platinum, and a partner distributor. So let's get started. First, we're gonna take a look at some of the fax communications and workflows in healthcare. So for healthcare organizations, fax is the predominant method of communication. From back office applications to pharmacy to radiology, faxing is a critical to ensuring patients receive quality care and hospitals remain in compliance with industry regulations. Choosing the correct features in a fax system is imperative to the quality and efficiency of your fax infrastructure and internal, work, internal workflows. Let's take a look at the current state of fax communication in healthcare and see how right fax can help. 63% of referring physicians are dissatisfied with the current referral process. Right fax allows providers to include relevant information directly from their EMR systems, enhancing both the speed and quality of referrals. About 80% of all serious medical errors involve miscommunication during care transitions. With right facts, ensuring the secure and timely delivery of faxes is no longer a problem. Right facts users are able to view the status of each delivery as well as receive notifications and alerts regarding the delivery of their faxes. It costs nearly $250 billion to process 30 billion healthcare transactions each year. 15 billion of them are faxes. Using right fax, controls can be put in place to ensure that all the relevant patient information is sent the first time, resulting in a reduction in the number of transactions. So right fax allows providers to include relevant information directly from their EMR systems, enhancing both speed and quality of referrals. When delivering and securing protected patient information, fax is an essential part of any workflow. In fact, 75% of healthcare organizations continue to use fax as a primary method of clinical document exchange. The introduction of new healthcare information technology, also known as health IT, into clinical practice brings many benefits. They include improving quality and efficiency. Let's take a minute to review a traditional healthcare fax workflow. Let's say your organization is receiving new clients from nearby clinics who have referred those patients to your services. These clinics do not have a formal transfer process and simply fax over patient information to a specific fax line. This may have been a fax number that was exchanged for a specific purpose or even sent to the first fax number that appeared on your website. These patient referrals are delivered to an administrator or to a specific department to be reviewed and delivered to the right hands. As we review this workflow, we can spot some of the vulnerabilities. Fax information may be left sitting in a printer to be accidentally picked up, sent to the incorrect department, or even left in an abandoned inbox. With right fax, organizations can easily integrate with a multitude of applications, including email and Office 365, imaging, archiving, document management, and EMR software. This allows you to tightly integrate your fax server and electronic document delivery solutions, which are essential for the healthcare information delivery. Additionally, 
Rice Facts lets you digitize paper-based protected health information, also known as PHI, for private, secure, and auditable electronic distribution. For many healthcare providers that Advantage works with, Rice Facts is an essential part of their regulatory compliance regime because it provides a centralized communication hub and helps restrict access to PHI. However, there are considerations to take into account with the adoption of new technology. First of all, the introduction of health IT can be very disruptive to existing fax workflows in an organization. Health IT systems can be rigid and often implicitly assume a workflow structure in a way that their screens and steps are organized. Integration of diverse systems can be difficult or require immense amounts of human labor. Organizations that are thoughtful about workflow design and choose the right tools are more likely to be successful in adapting to health IT. So let's take a look at how RightFact can help with some of these issues. RightFact's first and foremost allows healthcare organizations to eliminate the waste associated with manual fax operations. No more printing patient records, walking to the central fax machine, and punching in a fax number and waiting for the transmission to be printed. Both costly and error prone, manual faxing steps can be replaced with faxing directly from almost any desktop application with just a few clicks. Now, sending patient information and ensuring it arrives in the correct hands is more efficient than ever. Patient information is delivered via a secure communication channel, delivered to the proper destination quickly, and workflows are no longer interrupted by slow manual faxing steps. In addition, we often hear from our customers that the audit trail function in RightFax is invaluable too to keep an ongoing history of the life of the fax. So RightFax has helped thousands of healthcare organizations around the world reduce costs, integrate systems, and increase productivity every day. Okay, we're now gonna talk a little bit about outbound faxing. Okay, so let's look at how we can implement some special features of right facts to improve the security of PHI on this general process. So on this slide, you'll see that it's an outbound process that originates from Epic. So end users are on Epic, and from their Epic system, they have the ability to put in a, a username and a, and a fax number and other patient information. From there, it passes it to the Epic EPS server. From there, Epic EPS sends the document over to a, a network folder, which is monitored by the RightFax integration module. The integration module's job is to monitor that folder, look at the tags, and based on the information in the tags, send the fax. What's really nice about this is, A, it is multi-threaded, so you can dump as many as you want from Epic at the same time, and the integration module does a great job of, of keeping up with the quantity of faxes, and it, it could do a great job and, and not, get any, not get backed up. The other great feature is it will actually send back a notification to Epic that the fax was either completed or failed. So all your notifications go back. So it's a two-way communication directly. You don't have to monitor a fax queue. You could do it all from Epic. Okay, now adding the XML generator to this workflow allows for an additional, the additional ability to store faxes in a document. As you can see in the bottom right, you have a document management system, and then you have the XML generator. So the workflow starts the same, where you have Epic delivering faxes to write fax. It's getting monitored by the integration module. Notifications are still going back and forth, but now you added the XML generator that has the ability to deliver the fax plus XML data to the XML target folder, which in turn, you can have your document management system monitor the XML target folder for fax data, such as a PDF or a TIFF, and also the metadata, which is very important. And what's nice about the XML generator is it can be formatted in any format that your document management system needs. So there are document management systems that want XML data. There are document management systems that might want a CSV file that might just have the doctor's name, with a comma, and then it might have the fax number with a comma, and then the from name. So as much data as you can get, especially on an outbound fax, there is a lot of information because we have fields that you can fill out with right fax. So you have, not only do you have information such as the two name and the fax number, but right fax has these billing code fields which are portable and they're adjustable. So they can be used for anything. They're called billing codes because originally right fax was designed for law firms, 
but um, the billing code fields could be used for a doctor's name or a, a prescription number. So you can dump that all to the XML target folder as metadata and have your document management system ingest it. So as you can see, these are all the fax metadata that's available in the XML generator. So there's a bunch. It looks like there's about 30 or 35, maybe more. And all this data can be generated with the fax. So not only do you have, the, as I mentioned, the PDF or the TIFF, but you can dump this XML file or CSV or tab spaced or um, comma space, colon space, any way you want with the data and have your document management system pull in the metadata. So the XML generator replaces the need to use the WriteFax API and is more flexible than a simple network file drop. The other module I'd like to talk about now is the encryption module. When a user sends a fax using WriteFax, the image is converted to a TIFF and moved to the WriteFax image directory until it is decrypted and delivered to its final destination. So as you can see in this diagram here, similar workflow as before, Epic through EPS, through the document repository, integration module grabs it, everything happens the same. But now, when you're storing these faxes at rest in that image directory folder in the bottom right, they are being encrypted. So now, if your system is ever compromised, either through someone just browsing and finding this image directory, or even if the whole computer itself, let's say the hard drive, was compromised, there's no way to view the individual images because they are encrypted. So the, the module has a layer of security by preventing any authorized viewing of fax images. And the encryption key, which is predefined and cannot be changed, relies on the SUID, also known as the SWID, of the WriteFax server and acts as an additional layer of security to protect sensitive content and information. Now, since all nodes share the same image directory, all fax images, regardless of a node, are protected. So let me go into that a little more. A lot of you out there might have a WriteFax collective or people that don't have WriteFax that are looking to, for a redundant WriteFax system. If you have multiple WriteFax servers sharing one image folder and one SQL database, they call it a collective, you only need to do one encryption module. It's one encryption module per directory. So they share the same image directory. So now that we have the images encrypted, let's talk about how we can make them more available if you have any system outages. Okay, so let's talk a, a little bit about the WriteFax SQL Image Storage Module. This module was released in WriteFax 16.2 and allows you to move the WriteFax images from a regular Windows file share or San or NAS into a SQL database. In SQL, they call that a blob. So SQL has the ability to not only store SQL data, but actual files within a SQL database. And the advantage to that is you get to use all the tools SQL has for replication and high availability to make sure your WriteFax system stays up. So as you can see in the diagram here, it really doesn't change any of the flow of the fax, obviously. It still comes from Epic through our integration module. The difference is now as you work your way through the storage, we are now going from WriteFax to the encryption module to, to encrypt the image. And now instead of storing it on a file share, we're, in, we're storing within the SQL. And this makes it a little easier for replication and a little less complex. So on the next slide here, we'll talk a little bit about the details of it. So first of all, it can reduce the cost and complexity of a WriteFax implementation. No separate hard disk is required. And we can use all the high availability, high availability tools, such as log shipping, availability groups, and always on failover clustering. The, the, some of these are available in SQL. 2012, and especially in SQL 2016 now, you have even more tools to keep your SQL up and running, and in turn, keep your WriteFax system up and running. And this is real important when you start dealing with multi-node WriteFax servers such as collectives, because if you're making sure your front-end WriteFax server is redundant by having multiple front-end application servers, you really need to make sure your back-end database is also up, because without SQL WriteFax will not run. So once you keep your redundant WriteFax systems up and running and your backend SQL up and running, you can really have great high availability. So this feature is great for customers that already have a robust SQL high availability strategy and want to apply that strategy to their fax images. 
Now let's talk about the new RightFax Secure Fork Channel introduced in RightFax 16.4. With this new feature, you now have the ability to encrypt your faxes in motion. So if you remember earlier, we discussed encrypting faxes at rest. The problem is once your fax is in motion, and, and especially in between your fax server and your gateway, it is clear text and, and in theory can be hacked. So by getting the secure FOIP channels, you encrypt that communication and secure your fax communication all the way up to the connection to the public switch telephone network. So a little bit more about the new secure FOIP channels. It runs TLS, so it's, it supports TLS over SIP, and TLS provides endpoint authentication by using mutual or two-way authentication on a hop-by-hop -hop basis. And as I mentioned, it improves the security because now within your firewall, your FOIP traffic is encrypted, and that's what you want. Up to the point where you're hitting the PSTN, you want to make sure any faxes in motion are encrypted, and this module will do that, or this feature will do it. It's um, licensed a different way than modules. What it is is when you purchase WriteFax, you can purchase additional channels, and you can FOIP-enable channels. So what you would do is you would actually buy the, the um, secure FOIP channels instead of regular FOIP channels, and you could speak to your WriteFax account manager to give you details and the cost. So as I mentioned, WriteFax can encrypt faxes at rest using the encryption module, and now Secure FOIP adds another layer of security to your WriteFax system. All right, so let's summarize what, what we have here. So what this diagram shows is all the additional modules we went through in the previous slide integrated with our original slide. So if we go through it, we still have the same workflow where Epic generates an outbound fax. WriteFax integration module picks it up, passes it to the fax server for processing, and the fax will go out. But now in between that, we have the ability to add secure FOIP, the encryption module, the SQL image storage, and the XML generator. So this really completes the picture. So now you have encryption at rest, encryption in motion, you have high redundancy on your SQL image storage, and you also have your XML generator generating your fax data and metadata to the XML target folder for integration with any document management system. So this is the whole thing together. Okay, let's move on to inbound faxing. Okay, so now let's take a look at inbound faxing with Epic. Epic doesn't have a native inbound integration with WriteFax, but let's take a look at how our customers are currently handling their received faxes. As you can see from the diagram, faxes are coming in, they're coming into WriteFax, and then they're delivered to user inboxes or group inbox within WriteFax. Using WriteFax delegates or having multiple users scan inboxes, they can then grab a fax and manually bring it to their document management, or manually import it into Epic. Okay, so now in this diagram, all we're seeing is how we have the WriteFax encryption module in between the fax server and the image directory folder, just to keep your faxes encrypted even on an inbound fax. The XML generator, as I mentioned before, can also be used for inbound, so the flow as a fax comes in, deliver to the fax server, and now the XML generator is generating metadata of inbound information. There's not as much inbound metadata as outbound, but it's still valuable information. The metadata could include the fax number it came from, the caller ID of the fax, the time, the, the uh, result, so we want to know if it failed or succeeded. So that's real important, and we can deliver that to our XML target folder, and now your document management system can then pull it in. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about fax routing. So recently, Advantage worked with an organization that had just one main fax number where its vendors, partners, and providers sent all their faxes to. Staff members would need to monitor the inbox for that fax number and process the various types of faxes that were received. This was a highly inefficient workflow that exposed multiple fax documents to increase include faxes with PHI to a wide range of people monitoring a single fax number. Our solution to this particular customer was, was to deploy different routing techniques. So by using DID and barcode routing, we were able to automate the entire inbound fax delivery and also alleviate concerns regarding secure, security and privacy. So 
Some of the terms here I mentioned is barcode routing. So that's routing based on the barcode on the cover sheet. We can also do OCR routing, which basically is a zonal OCR. So if on a cover sheet, there's a certain information, maybe a, a name, a prescription number, any kind of information that we could route on, we could use that. And then we also can use smart fax distribution, which does a delivery of inbound faxes in either an even or round robin um, loop. Not used too often, but you can use the smart fax distribution to deliver faxes to a, a group of members. So write fax increased pro productivity when smart routing options have been implemented, allowing you to store faxes in a safe and secure locations. Now let's take a closer look at how you can use fax polls to view more than 50 different metrics on the system health, volume, and usage of your write fax system. Data is now driving decision making in many organizations, and our customers often look to us to help them pull their right facts data. Due to this, we developed FactsPulse, our business intelligence and monitoring tool for right facts. FactsPulse business intelligence has three analytics dashboards and one system status dashboard, tracking over 50 different right facts metrics. FactsPulse BI creates a data warehouse of all your facts metadata, allowing you to purge data from your right facts system, but still be able to report on it. With simple controls to filter and export data, you can easily target specific information and share that information with other people in your organization. FactsPulse has been around for about three years and is currently reporting on over 100 RightFact servers, including some of North America's largest healthcare organizations. This product is a bolt-on product for RightFacts with no agents and no downtime necessary to install. So FactsPulse consists of two modules one for analytics and the other for monitoring and alerting. First, let's take a look at the analytics module. So as you can see from the slide, our analytics consist of three areas. First would be error identification. So we can use that to cut down on transmission failures by identifying bad fax numbers, maybe a number that's a, a, a human answered every time and then block that number. We can also export the results to Excel in one click for reporting. The enhanced insight allows you to identify peak transmission periods and top fax users, and the trends in fax volume. So for example, if you had an open enrollment period for a month, you would see your trends are very high, and maybe that would, you would need more channels during that period, or maybe you'd have to dedicate different channels to different groups during that period. Fax Pulse can help with that. And lastly, you have your data warehousing, which allows you to extend your right fax reporting capabilities beyond your internal right fax aging rules by accumulating right fax data in a separate data source. So you can set custom thresholds for each one of the metrics, and FactsPulse will send you an email alert when something looks amiss. And finally, let's cover the monitoring and reporting functions of FactsPulse. So FactsPulse is able to track queued faxes and work requests, service CPU usage, and dry space for your image directory. Channel usage and write fax service status across your entire systems are also monitored. And in the latest version of FactsPulse, we have added traffic monitors to allow you to watch the volume of traffic for different right fax accounts, track fax status, and ensure your system is processing faxes. This new FactsPulse release includes expanded metrics and new monitors to give you a deeper insight into your right fax engine. Okay, so now let's move on to advantage services that support your administrators and developers with their right fax systems. Okay, so as you can see from the slide here, our Advantage Help Desk consists of all North American-based engineers. They're all certified for right facts, and they can assist you from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. with a standard support contract, and 24 by 7 if you have a 24 by 7 support contract. When you have full support, that also entitles you to full documentation and access to not only the Open Text Knowledge Center, but the Advantage Resource Center, you have access to any right facts guides and white papers that you can download anytime you'd like. You also have access to our support through, through phone, email, and we also will be able to remote into your system using WebEx. And lastly, you will have full access to all service releases, bug fixes, and also feature packs and full upgrades. Okay, let's talk about Advantage Professional Services. Our professional service team is there to help you with anything outside of support, which would include 
custom applications, and most of the time, upgrades of your RightFX system. So let's go into a little detail on how we do our upgrades and how we recommend the upgrades be performed. We break it into a, a four-part process. Part one would be project planning. That would include documentation of your current integrations, which could be Epic, McKesson, NextGen. Next thing we'll talk about how to propose design improvements. So we'd look at the new version and, and see how we can make it run even better than your current version. Also introduce you to new modules and features. And then we develop a project plan. Next step would be the new install and migration. So we would then install the latest version of RightFax on a clean version of Windows. We would do a system configuration to match your current version. So that would be including all the RightFax services, registry keys, make sure everything matches, all your modules are the same. And lastly, we would do the migration of existing users and faxes. At that point, your new system would really mimic your, your current production system as far as all your users, your faxes, all your gateways, everything would be, conf would be configured and ready to go. At that point, there'd be a, a period where you can do some testing. That's the user acceptance testing. So you would temporarily point some of your applications or all your applications to the new system, make sure everything works good. You would point your end user client, your web, everything, make sure everything runs the way you want it to. Any issues that come up during that period, we would resolve. Make sure your clients are happy, your end users, and then we would set your cutover date. Now the cutover is when we actually are moving your telecom and you're permanently moving your applications and your end user clients to point to the new system. There is a, a small downtime during that period, so a lot of times that is done evenings and weekends. And if rarely there is a problem, we have a simple rollback path because what we do is point your applications and your telecom back to the original system and you're up and running. Okay, let's go over takeaways here. So Advantage can help integrate RightFax with your EMR software and automate inbound and outbound fax workflows. Fax posts will help your organization understand your fax throughput, monitor traffic through your RightFax system, and enable support to react to potential problems sooner. And finally, the Advantage Help Desk and professional services teams can help you implement, monitor, and support your RightFax system.